Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day. It's me, Coffee, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and run a Minecraft server. There are many reasons you might want to set up a Minecraft server. Maybe you want to keep a world open forever without having Minecraft open, or maybe you just want to look cool in front of your friends, or maybe you want to play on your, your own server with your own friends. Well, anyway, up to you guys what you do with your server, but I'm going to show you guys how to get it up and running. Real simple and real quick. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to find your favorite internet browser, which for me, mine is Google Chrome. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome, and I'm going to go up to the search bar, and I'm going to put in minecraft.net slash download. Just like this. And I'll have a link in the description for you guys for your convenience, so no worries. So once you have this in right here, you're going to click enter, and it should bring you to this website right here. It should look just like this. You're on the official website, no worries, no problems. So once you get to this page, you're going to look for Play With Your Friends right here at the bottom, Play With Your Friends, and then you're going to find it. You can also set up your own Minecraft server right here, and you're going to click it. It's a hyperlink. You're going to click it, and it's going to bring you to another page, and this is where you're going to download your server. So you're going to find download. You don't have to worry about reading any of this. I'm going to guide you through it. So you're going to download right here. It's another hyperlink. You're just going to click this download minecraft server and then your minecraft version and it's only this part right here you can click so I'm going to click this and I got it downloaded down here server.jar if you're on a different browser hit save or if you're on google chrome hit keep and now that you have it downloaded you can just drag it to your desktop as you guys can see here and now I have it on my desktop and this, this right here is your entire server it's going to be easy I'm going to show you guys what I mean so what you want to do is you're going to create a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. Well, it's up to you, but for this video, I'm going to name it server. And just like that, we have our main folder for our server. You can move this folder wherever you want on your desktop or in your file system. Just make sure you remember where it is so you can start your server because you don't want to lose it because then you won't have a server. <laughs> well, then again, you can always take your time and search for it, but who wants to do that, right? So you're going to take the server jar, put it in your server folder, just like that open up your server folder and just run, run your server jar now if you click this and it doesn't run just make sure by right clicking the server jar and hitting open with that you have java listed here if you don't you need to go download it I'll leave a link for it below also but yeah you need java make sure you get the right uh, architecture for your computer mine is 64 bit so now that we have the server jar we're just gonna open it up just like this and it will load for a second and it should make these files if it doesn't make these files the first time you just need to click it again once it's done loading so now we have these three new files but you don't need to touch any of them except for the EULA you can read the EULA here and basically right here you have to agree to it if you don't agree to it you can't run your server so you change that to true and you click save right here and then you exit out and now you can open up your server again and it should create all the server files see what it does it has made the world it has made all the files it should tell you right here when it's done done as you guys can see here now that it's done you're going to want to type in stop and now it should go away and you're going to want to create a new text file right here and you're going to name it start and then you're going to go back to the website, the link's also below, and you're going to copy and paste this line of code right here. So as you guys can see, I'm copying and pasting this line of code. In my start text. Now before you copy and paste that code, uh, while you have it copied, put this in before you do that. So at echo off, this stops it from repeating over and over, and then you're going to want to paste your code and you're going to click enter again and make sure you put pause make sure you put pause guys it's important alright now that you have it looking like this make sure that this name right here matches your server jar and mine doesn't mine is server.jar so I'm going to erase it and change it to server.jar and now it knows what file that it's going to start when you open it and if you want the interface like that little uh, white box that pulled up and told us when the world was done if you want that you get rid of this some people don't want it because it uses extra resources but if you have a good computer it honestly doesn't matter 
Uh, I like mine, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. I like my uh, graphical interface. So now that you have this, you can save it and start your server. But if you need more RAM on your server, you can go ahead and change these arguments right here just like you would in your launcher. So for me, I'm going to change it like this. Just like this. I've allocated 6 gigs of RAM to the server. And now I'm going to save. It's completely up to you if you change that. And I'll have another video on how to optimize your server. So now that you have it like that, you're going to want to change this to start.bat. So right click and find rename and change it to start.bat. And basically it's a start file now. Go ahead and click yes. As you guys can see, it is a Windows batch file. If you can't change the ending of this right here, this little dot, if you can't change anything after this, you need to go up here to your view and go to your options right here and then go to your view again on this tab and scroll down till you find hide extension for known file types and uncheck it make sure it's unchecked because if it's checked like this you can't get any of that so make sure this is unchecked and then you can change it so now that you have this here you can go ahead and click this and start your server as you can see here Everything that the server is doing here is being put on here, but this tells you your average tick rate and your memory use. So this is the graphical interface right here. This will always be here. Uh, when you remove or when you put no GUI at the end of it, this is what it's adding right here, guys. So if you don't want this, just get, uh, put uh, no GUI. So now that you have your server up and running, I'm going to prove to you guys that it works and how to join your server. So basically if you want to join your server you go find your Minecraft right here and you launch it with the right version so my server is 1.12.2 so I'm going to launch my game in 1.12.2 We're going to give it just a second here to load It shouldn't take long This depends on how long your game takes to load, mine doesn't take that long But uh, now that you have it here, you're going to hit multiplayer Go to Direct Connect or Add Server. I'm going to add the server. I'm going to name it My YouTube Server. Just like that. And you're going to put Local Host. Just like that, guys. Just like that. It's the easiest way. Click Done. And right here, My YouTube Server. It is up and running. Full bars. Zero MS. And the reason it's zero is because you're hosting the server. So you're never going to lag to this you're never gonna lag so go ahead and join your server just like this it'll log you in and load the world and there you go you got all the latest stuff you got the server and everything you can keep the world open now without having minecraft open everything is good see everything is good um, oh no 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 but um basically you have the server now everything's good but what if you want to give this to your friends what if you want your friends to be able to join well that's called port forwarding and I'm going to tell you guys how to port forward in just uh, my next video probably actually. Uh, if you want to know how to open your server to your friends and family, they don't have to be at your house anymore. If that's what you're looking for, just check out my next video. But for now, that's all. That's your quick guide on how to set up and run your Minecraft server. And before we go, one more thing. If you want cheats, you got to go to your interface here and op your name. So put op and just like this. And now I'm opt. See? Now I'm opt right down here. And I can go into creative. Just like this. And put some TNT down. So you guys know how it works now. Everything's good. Uh, I'm going to show you guys in my next video how to port, port it so you can give it to your friends. And for now, that's all. So cheers, friends. Cheers.